Hey there, it's Professor S, and for the next five minutes, I want to talk about the concept of simple diffusion. I actually introduced this idea in my membrane permeability video when I suggested that the simplest way for a substance to enter or leave a cell would be to directly pass through the lipid bilayer of the plasma membrane. To think about how that's a possibility, you have to consider the sandwich nature of the phospholipid bilayer. That is, it's got three sort of layers to it. It's got an outer boundary and an innermost boundary, one touching the cytoplasm, one touching the outside of the cell, of phospholipid heads. Those are thin hydrophilic layers. And sandwiched in between those thin hydrophilic phospholipid head layers is that much thicker hydrophobic phospholipid tail region. If a substance is going to pass directly through this lipid bilayer, it's going to have to go through that hydrophobic interior. And the best way to understand how that's even possible is to take a much closer look at that bilayer when a substance approaches. So I'm going to jump out of the way for a second while we zoom in. All right, so now that we're up close and personal with the phospholipid bilayer, let's keep in mind what's going on with these heads. They're hydrophilic. That means they can hydrogen bond with each other and with water molecules just outside or just inside the cell. Now I want you to imagine an ion or a hydrophilic molecule approaches the membrane. Here we have an ion inbound. Because it's able to hydrogen bond both with water and with the heads, even if it could shoot one of the gaps and move between those phospholipid heads, more than likely it would hydrogen bond and be held back either with water or the heads. It's very unlikely that an ionic or a hydrophilic substance is going to just slip between those heads. On the other hand, if we have a substance like this steroid, it's a hydrophobic molecule. If it approaches the membrane, it does not easily hydrogen bond with water. It does not easily hydrogen bond with the heads. And therefore, if it hits the gap between the heads, there's nothing to stop it from continuing on through and passing into the interior of the membrane and then on into the cell or out of the cell depending on the direction it's moving. Let's go back to a big view now. What I've essentially established is that if a particle is hydrophobic, there's nothing to fundamentally stop it from passing through the phospholipid bilayer when it reaches it. And so if I surround this membrane with steroids, which are not equally distributed, and we just let them move, by diffusion, they should flow from where they're more to less concentrated until they achieve an equilibrium. And if the higher concentration is on one side of the membrane and the lower is on the other, that's what ends up happening. They flow from one to the other side of the membrane until they reach equilibrium. This is simple diffusion. The passage of particles directly through the lipid bilayer, unassisted by proteins, from high to low concentration. That's what it is. Now, before I let you go, I do need to have you come over to my desk for a couple minutes because there's a terminology issue I have been fighting students on with this term for years. So let's hop on over to my desk. Now, before I can let you go, I need to take a quick moment, maybe another minute, and talk to you about the term one last time to try to steer you away from some pitfalls I frequently see students in my classes fall into. The first one is with the term itself. It is two words, but one term, simple diffusion. Simple diffusion, one term. It's not an adjective and a noun. It's not simply diffusion. It is simple diffusion. Substances that move in or out of the cell by simple diffusion are substances that are hydrophobic and are therefore able to directly pass through the phospholipid bilayer of the membrane. They pass through the lipid bilayer itself. They are not simply diffusing through the membrane, they are diffusing through the lipid bilayer. Arguably, ions and hydrophilic uh, organic molecules, which use channel proteins and carrier proteins to get through the membrane, also diffuse through the membrane. They simply diffuse through, but they have to have the assistance of an integral membrane protein. In simple diffusion, the substances aren't using an integral protein, they're passing directly through the lipid bilayer. Um, so keep that straight, simple diffusion, um, and maybe take another five or two, five minutes to go check out the videos on channel and carrier proteins because I got them too.
Hi, this is Professor S. And I'm Big Al. I really liked that last video. I thought it was pretty good. Me too. Hold on. Something's not right here. What's wrong? My hands. Where are my hands? I don't know. I'm just a sock. Well, if I don't have my hands, how will they know what I'm saying? How awful. Yes. Well, here's a couple more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see all his new videos as they come out. Alright, where are my glasses? And who took my socks? Uh, oh. We have to go now.